Security camera footage shows officers inside the cannabis culture location on Church Street, one of five in Toronto that were raided as part of a cross-country operation called Project Gator. Good evening and welcome to City News. We're now inside of that Church Street location of cannabis culture. If you take a look here, all of these little jars here, they were full of samples of marijuana before, but they've now been cleaned out and seized by police just after the so-called Prince and Princess of Pot were arrested at Pearson Airport. I was at the counter making my purchase for some medicine and uh, I was told, okay, like, hey, Toronto Police, this is a raid. So he just kind of stepped back and they asked me to take stuff out of my pockets. Eleven warrants, seven locations raided and five people arrested as the operation sent Toronto police right across the country, far west, as well as here in Hamilton and of course right in Toronto. We were having a normal day. It was a little bit quieter than usual, and we got one noise that we never want to hear. We heard raid, and um, they separated customers from employees. Nobody was charged with anything. They did, however, take all of the inventory, all of the money, our computers, our, all the employees' cell phones. Cool. We'd like to uh, see a warrant, please. Yeah. And raids went as far west as Vancouver, where upset customers staged a smoke in on one of the city's most well-known streets. This morning, when my employee showed up to open as he always does at 9 a.m. The police were already here. They'd actually been here since 8 a.m. this morning raiding the building without our knowledge. We've all been here since that time. We're waiting to get back inside. One location was raided in Hamilton and here in Toronto security camera footage from the Church Street location was tweeted out by the dispensary showing officers arriving on scene. While some officers were caught on camera by the surveillance systems at some of the cannabis culture locations, this one here at Lakeshore and 30th, well, that wasn't the case. That's because you can see that the security camera is lying there on the desk. It initially was up there on the wall, pulled out by officers, many of whom are working undercover. Although legislation legalizing marijuana has been promised by the federal government, right now these shops are still illegal, and that's why Toronto police say they started this operation. But at this point, investigators won't elaborate on why only cannabis culture run by the Emery's has been targeted in these raids. Why is cannabis culture a priority for police? I think when people see the charge details and when people follow the case as it goes to court, I think they'll understand. It would be wrong for me to go into detail now, but this will all be brought uh, before the public uh, when it's at court. As long as the law is clear, and it is absolutely clear that dispensaries are illegal, we will continue to enforce the law. Now, the manager of this store did speak to the media outside earlier this afternoon. He says that about 2,000 customers come through these doors every day to come shop in this particular store. And to give you an idea of how much money that may translate to, well, he says that over just the last three months, this store alone paid the federal government over $400,000 in HST. And this store so far is set to reopen tomorrow.